Hello guys, Marcus here, Pipe Beards and Guns. Today it's time for a, a short little clip regarding pipe smoking in Sweden. So today I'm smoking some Seattle Pipe Club thumb pudding in my Peterson Capruf 211. I have a few topics for the pipe smoking in Sweden video. That is pipe community here. Uh, we have you know tobacco prices tax and so on shops selection buying tobacco from within European Union and outside and some other information so I don't want to make this video too long uh, but you know please ask questions down below if there is something that is unclear and I'll try to answer that and maybe do a part two video. Relight. So let's start with the pipe community here. So I guess if we go back 30, 40 years, pipe smoking which was much more common and even back you know in the late 40s after World War II and so on uh, you know pipe smoking was much more common nowadays you don't see people smoking a pipe you know in public places uh, I've seen one once and that was two and a half week ago I think but you know how it is we pipe smokers we sit at home on our porch whatever smoking our pipes it's not like we're out in public walking around smoking pipes a lot you know I do you know walking the dog and so on and people see me smoking a pipe but we're all different but when it comes to the community here in, in Sweden pipe smokers uh, you know the present is quite obvious on, on you know social media uh, we have the Swedish pipe smokers which is uh, about 1,000 members on Facebook uh, which is really nice and pretty much the only place I I look I guess there are forums as well uh, but I haven't really researched it so I know there's people out there and uh, I have friends that likes or love smoking pipes as well but not just only one that's close by to where I live but getting to know other pipe smokers around the world, it's, you know, I think that's, you know, really fun uh, and really nice. You know, the YTPC, you know, community, it's, you know, it's fun to see what other people do. They smoke, what pipes they have, tobacco, they try out and so on. So that's about the community. And you probably heard me before uh, nagging about the pr prices of tobacco here in Sweden. So that's number two here. So a tin of tobacco here, a 50 gram tin, costs about 200 to 250 Swedish krona, and uh, I get one US dollar for 915 Swedish. So let's say 10 Swedish to make it easy to calculate. So about 25, up to 25. US dollars for a tin of tobacco and I think that's the sole you know problem or the, the biggest problem or the issue we have over here uh, why we do not you know sell a lot of tobacco and bulk up on tobacco you know really buy a lot of tobacco because it's expensive and uh, you know we tend to keep it more moderate I don't know about all the Swedish pipe smokers but uh, you know I'm like that anyways I cannot spend a huge amount of money on just pipe tobacco because I want to have a big fat tobacco seller I would like to have one but you know at this time no uh, and why is it that expensive well that's due to our taxes so the tax on 
smoking tobacco, loose tobacco, like pipe tobacco, it's quite steep. So we pay a tax that's per kilogram. So one kilogram of tobacco has a tax of 1852 kroners. So about 180 US dollars for one kilo of tobacco. Uh, then you have the VAT on that, and that's 25%. So that adds up a lot. So then you can see that you know the price on a tin of tobacco is you know from a US price that's maybe 10 bucks for a tin, and it's easy, it comes up to 25. Mm, what happened? My notes disappeared. So that's the prices of tobacco and, and the tax is different depending on what type of tobacco it is. If it's, you know, snooze that you put underneath your lip, uh, if it's cigarettes or cigars. So it's a bit different and I will write those numbers down below in the bucket so, so you guys can see. And then let's go to uh, the selection. So there's no real pipe shops, you know, pure pipe shops. You know, there's tobacco shops which normally have, you know, pipes, cigars, mostly cigars. You know, that's like the biggest uh, selection of, of um, tobacco, probably cigars, right? But there are a few that have piped tobacco and quite a good selection of pipe tobacco. Uh, but European pipe tobacco, not a lot of US pipe tobacco. And that's a problem. Here where I live, close to Stockholm, I have a three, four different shops that I regularly just check out when I ever have when I have time for it. And uh, one of the big ones, uh, you know, they have GLPs, uh, so I can get some American tobacco. But otherwise, we can, you know, get MacBaron, we can get Seven Ely Rat Race, we can get Dunhill tobaccos, and a lot of other, um, I think BBB. Uh, you know other tobaccos as well uh, and Peterson of course uh, pretty much all their different tobacco we can get when it comes to pipes pretty much all of them have uh, a small selection of Peterson pipes they have you know the seven alleys as well and custom pipe makers from all around Europe a lot of Danish pipe makers uh, another pipes but not a super big you know selection of pipes but as many of us do you know we order over the internet and we go abroad to order so we usually buy stuff from Danish pipe shop as many Americans do as well but because of Denmark being within European Union so it's it's uh, no customs fees or anything like that uh, when you buy from shops within European Union. Of course, we have Swedish web shops as well, which does not have a real store otherwise, but you know, just a web shop, which has you know pretty decent prices, but it's still between you know 20 to 25 US dollars for a 50 gram tin. It's hard to get you know get from that. In Denmark, from Danish pipe shop. It's about 180 to 200 something uh, Swedish for a 50 gram tin. So it's a bit cheaper. The same goes for Germany. And you know, down south in Europe, it's even cheaper. So it's all depending on the, on the taxation of tobacco they have in that specific country. So it's not evenly, you know, across Europe. It's not the same tax, so to say. And the VAT is different as well. Hang on, sorry. So next. So that was buying tobacco and pipes and all the different accessories within European Union. So a lot of people buy pipes from, from the UK and Ireland and other you know countries in Europe as well. I bought several pipes from, from the UK. 
and when it comes from buying stuff from the US that's the tricky part because you're you're then subdued to the customs and then is when stuff get really expensive on you might be cheaper than you know buying here as well but it depends so when you buy from outside of European Union it will get stuck in customs you will have to pay a customs fee in this case the custom fee is 47.9% of the declared cost of the item so if it's you know 100 bucks written on the custom declaration no it's you know you pay 47.9% of that so 50 bucks above then you have the tobacco tax the 1852 Swedish kroner per kilo uh, and you have the VAT 25% plus you have to pay for the shipping from customs to your house even if you paid for the shipping you know from the US to your house so it all adds up and it gets really expensive real quick depending on how much tobacco you order it's a different story if you go abroad uh, if I would to go to the US for example or outside European Union and I buy pipe tobacco I'm allowed to bring in 250 grams of tobacco without paying tax for it so it I can get you know 250 grams tax free and you can see this in the airports as well going out from Sweden at Stockholm Arlanda for example and the local tobacco we have here in Sweden uh, Greve Hamilton or Count Hamilton soft packs and the price on a five pack of those soft packs it's just ridiculous because it's less than one pack you would buy in the shop otherwise which is, which is about 240 230 Swedish kroner and you get five packets for the same price when you fly outside of European Union so it's really really ridiculous uh, so ordering stuff from outside the European Union yeah you can do that but you need to be aware that you know if you buy things for a hundred US dollars it will not be a hundred US dollars when you get it you might end up paying almost 400 US for it because the, all the you know the tobacco tax the VAT uh, you know all that stuff that's added on to it when it's you know arrives to the customs so that's how it is in Sweden and that's also why we do not stock up on a lot of tobacco if you can't afford it of course see if I have anything more to add to this well I think uh, you know the the pipe smoking community is growing it's uh, will I think it will never reach the same kind of popularity it was 30 40 years ago but I think a lot of people tend to lean towards cigars uh, you know I know plenty of people that smoke cigars every now and then that has a humidor and all that stuff because cigars are more common or ready available when you go to a small tobacco store they might not have pipes and pipe tobacco or but they have cigars from you know shit the selections to a really good selection of cigars even you know a big walk-in humidor in some places uh, which is nice i just i'm not a cigar smoker so i'm not really you know i don't know too much about it but i know that you see cigars more often well guys, I hope this has been informative and that you leave a comment if you have any questions or any feedback, if I said anything wrong uh, or anything stupid. Uh, otherwise, I'll uh, see you next time. Take care, don't do anything stupid. Cheers, bye bye.